What's up guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are on my couch. It's very casual. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. I asked you guys on Instagram a while back what type of back to school videos you wanted to see. And there were a few topics that a majority of you guys wanted me to talk about. So I thought I would just kind of combine them all into this video and just sit and discuss a few college related topics and just kind of give you guys some insight and my tips and tricks that I've learned this far throughout my college experience. As you guys probably know, I'm going to be a senior this year. This is my last back to school season ever. So I feel like I've learned a thing or two this far in college. So I picked three topics that you guys really wanted me to talk about and I'm gonna be discussing them in this video. And hopefully if you are going into your freshman year or if you're already in college or even if you're in high school and college is just something that you're thinking about right now, I hope this video helps you in some way. Also, as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here. I start college next week from when you guys are watching this, which I know is really late. New Jersey schools start really late, but I'll be getting back to posting College Week in My Life, that kind of stuff, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the back to school videos. And let's go ahead and get into it. So before I get into the actual topics that I'm gonna be talking about, I thought I would just give you guys kind of an introduction, some context if you guys are new here. Like I said, I'm going to be a senior this year. I am a student at Montclair State University, which is a school in New Jersey. I actually transferred there halfway through my freshman year. My first semester of freshman year, I went to Ohio State. Going into my freshman year, I thought I had it all figured out. I thought I wanted to go to a big state school somewhere away from where I grew up and a school that had like football and just like this stereotypical big state school vibe. And I also thought I wanted to study interior design. Don't really know why I had like an internship in high school at an interior design firm and it was just something that I enjoyed and so I thought I wanted to be an interior designer but I ended up hating Ohio State, hating my major so much and I hated all the design classes that I had to take. There are a lot of reasons why I ended up transferring but mainly it was just because I felt really overwhelmed. Ohio State is a huge school and I found it hard to like meet people and kind of find my place. I also didn't like being far away from my parents. I ended up getting really homesick and I just kind of missed Jersey and like the East Coast vibe. I'm just like a city girl and I just really missed being back home. So I ended up transferring to Montclair, which is about 30 minutes from where I grew up. And it's honestly the best decision I could have made. I'm so much happier here. I have an amazing group of friends here and I just love like being back here. Like I'm about 30 minutes outside of New York City and being by the city, I've learned is like something that's really important to me, especially with like the whole YouTube thing. Like New York just has so many opportunities and events and stuff that I have access to and wouldn't have had access to in Ohio. So all around just great decision. As far as my living situation, I've kind of experienced a little bit of everything. My first two years of college, I dormed on campus. My first semester, I had a roommate, and then the other three semesters, I lived in a single. And then my fall semester, junior year, I decided to commute from home for that semester. That was the first time I was able to condense my class schedule to only two days a week. So I kind of figured there was no point in me really living on campus and it would just be easier to commute back and forth. That way I could save up a little extra money. And then my spring semester, the beginning of spring semester of junior year, I moved into the apartment that I'm in now. I plan on living here till the end of this fall semester and then my year lease is up and then I'm going to move to another apartment somewhere in Jersey. People were asking me why I'm not planning on staying in this apartment and it's really just because I want to like upgrade after this and the area that I'm in now is like not the best and I just like want to do better so I want to move somewhere else after this lease is up. Finally, just to touch on my major, what I'm studying. So my full major title is business administration with double concentrations in marketing and management, but that's kind of a mouthful. So when people ask, I just say marketing usually. Like I said, my first semester, I went in doing interior design, ended up hating that. And then when I transferred to Montclair, I decided to just go with business because 
I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do after college and I feel like business is like the safe route that everyone kind of does when they don't know what they want to do. So I went with business and your freshman and sophomore year at Montclair in the business school, you kind of just take like your gen eds and your like core business classes. So it doesn't really matter what concentration you end up picking those two years. You're just kind of taking like the general classes. My sophomore year is when I kind of started getting interested in marketing, especially like through doing YouTube and like seeing how like social media marketing and influencer marketing like really works. I found it really interesting and like could potentially turn into something that I would want to study. So I decided on marketing being my concentration. And then my junior year-ish, I kind of started feeling like I wanted to add something just because I was like really ahead on credits. At first I was thinking about adding a minor, but none of the minors at Montclair were like really speaking to me. So I ended up just adding management as a second concentration. Montclair makes it really easy to double up on business concentrations because it's not like that many extra classes that you have to take since you've already done like all the core business classes. I honestly haven't been like obsessed with any of my management classes this far. I'm really mainly focused on the marketing stuff, but management was just an extra thing to add. I feel like it looks good on my resume and that way I can say that I have like education in managing people and like working with different types of people and like leadership and all that kind of stuff. But I'm really like focused on marketing and that's become like what I really wanna do in my career. So that was kind of a condensed little summary about me. Now let's get into the actual topics that you guys wanna hear about. So the first topic by far that I get the most questions about is how I manage my time in college, how I balance school, work, and YouTube, how I am productive and organized, all of that kind of stuff. I've talked about this in my last couple of vlogs, but I am interning this fall in addition to going to school. So my internship actually started this week, and I am a digital intern at Bolari, which is a fashion and beauty PR marketing firm in New York City. My next video that I'm gonna post after this one is going to be like a work week in my life vlog. So I'm gonna talk a lot more about like my actual day-to-day -day responsibilities at my internship if you guys are curious. So that'll be a whole separate video. But basically the way that I'm able to have an internship outside of having classes is something I've been doing since the start of junior year and that is condensing or like stacking all of my classes onto only two days a week. I know at some schools or like with certain majors this can be really hard to do because sometimes your schedule isn't completely up to you. My advice if you are able to get all of your classes on two days or three days or even four days just having those extra days off makes such a huge difference because this way it just helps my brain focus on different things better because I know in my head that Monday, Wednesday is class day and I have classes all day and that's what I need to be focused on for those two days. And then Tuesday, Thursday, Friday are internship days. So that's when my brain needs to be focused on my internship. Those are the two kind of like structured things in my schedule. And then with that, I kind of work everything else around it. So like YouTube stuff when I'm gonna find time to film and edit videos and respond to emails, that kind of stuff. And having a social life is obviously a huge part of college, so finding time to hang out with friends and go out and stuff. So if you are able to stack your schedule instead of like spreading it out and having it five days a week, I think that makes such a big difference, especially if you wanna add on like an internship or a job outside of school. My next like biggest tip that I always harp on when I do these kinds of videos is getting a planner. I actually just got a new planner, so let me grab it. Okay, this is my brand new planner. I literally just got it yesterday. Haven't even written anything in it yet. Planners are very personal, so whatever like brand or layout works for you. I like the day designers because you get like your monthly overview, so that's where I put like events or travel plans or appointments, anything like that. And then you also get your day-to-day -day section. Having a planner or a notebook or a calendar in your phone or anything really 
is super important because you need to get all of your thoughts and plans out of your head and onto something physical. If I didn't have somewhere to write down everything that I have to get done, first of all, it wouldn't get done because I would forget stuff. And second of all, I wouldn't be able to like focus on anything because my mind would just be thinking about all the stuff I have to do. So it's really important to write things down and get them out of your head and onto paper or your phone or whatever you like to use. I actually use Google Calendar and my day designer. My Google Calendar is more for like bigger things. So I have like all my classes and my internship in there so I can see like what big thing I have every day. And then I also put like events travel, appointments, meetings, phone calls, like all of that kind of stuff also go in my Google Calendar and I color code everything. So like classes are in blue, my internships in green, events are in pink. That way it just helps me like visually see what I have to do every day. That's like all my big stuff. And then I use this to write down every other little thing. So like work out that day or do laundry, go to Target, like all of those little like errandy like to do's I put in here, not in my Google Calendar. That's just my way and like my system that works for me, but everyone's different like I said. And then for my last tip on this topic or just like something to kind of think about is that you don't have to say yes to everything. It's totally okay to say no. I feel like now more than ever, it's like trendy to be busy. Everyone wants to have like a million things going on at once and have like all these jobs and all these side hustles. And I think it's amazing, but at the same time, you should only take on as much as you can handle. A huge part of college is also being social and having time to go out and hang out with your friends and have fun so don't feel like you have to add on all of these extra responsibilities do what you're comfortable with and what you know you can manage self-care is also super important and if you're so busy that it's gonna cause you so much stress and anxiety then it's not worth it and it's okay to like take a few steps back and take a few things off your plate moving on the second topic that you guys really wanted me to film a video about is outfit ideas and what i like to wear to class instead of doing a separate video and showing you guys like a whole lookbook i decided to just include it in this video because i honestly don't try hard at all for my college outfits especially now like being a senior i just I can't be bothered. I like to be comfortable for class. Leggings, sweatpants, t-shirt, sweatshirt, sneakers. I feel like having a few like staple pieces in your wardrobe, just like basic t-shirts, super comfy sweatshirts and hoodies, a couple pairs of your favorite black leggings, anything like that. Just have like your core set of basics and then you can kind of mix and match those and you'll be good for the semester, honestly. So I thought I would give you guys three outfit ideas and just like some inspo of what I would realistically wear to class. Like I said, these are not going to be like the most trendy, cute outfits. This is like real what i would actually wear to class i'm going to transition to a clip of me trying on those three outfits everything that i'm wearing will be linked down below if you guys want to check them out okay guys this is my first outfit idea i'm probably literally gonna wear this exact outfit on my first day back to school i feel like you can't go wrong with an oversized t-shirt biker shorts and sneakers especially for like the summer to fall transition period I don't know how it is where you guys live, but for me, I would say the first month of school, it's still pretty hot out. So this is totally an outfit I would wear in the first few weeks back to school. This super oversized band tee is from Urban Outfitters. These are my absolute favorite biker shorts. They're from Aritzia. They're the Atmosphere shorts. I literally have two pairs of these exact shorts in black because I just wear them so much. And then I just paired this look with my Air Force Ones and some Nike mid-calf socks. I feel like if you throw on some gold hoops with this and like a cool pair of sunglasses and you're walking around campus in this outfit, you're gonna look super cool and trendy but like literally be so comfortable and not even have to think too much about your outfit this is the second outfit like i said these are not like revolutionary outfits these are just realistic outfits that i would wear to class i love pairing a cropped t-shirt with 
high-waisted sweatpants or high-waisted leggings. I actually wanted to talk about these sweatpants because I got two pairs, two different colors recently. They're actually from Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink. I was walking past the store recently and they're called the Campus Jogger. They were like on their front display and I decided to try them and they're literally like the softest, most comfortable, best fitting joggers I've ever tried. I just paired them with this white crop top from Topshop. I believe most colleges don't have a dress code. I can totally wear a crop top like this to class, but if you're for some reason not allowed to wear like super cropped stuff or you just don't feel comfortable doing that, you could totally pair these sweatpants with like an oversized tee or a sweatshirt or something and they would still look super cute and then I just threw on my same Air Force ones because I literally wear these shoes every day okay and this is my third and final outfit I feel like this is the most college one I had to show you guys an outfit with black leggings because they're seriously like the most worn thing in my closet these are Lululemon aligns they are seriously my favorite leggings in the world they fit so well they like suck your stomach in they're super high-waisted I know Lululemon is super expensive and it can be really hard to afford these especially as like a college student but if you are able to invest in a pair I know you won't regret it because you will literally wear them so so much and as long as you care for them correctly they're going to last you for so long I just paired them with this oversized crew neck from Aritzia TNA is one of the brands that Aritzia carries and it is the best for sweatshirts hoodies, sweatpants, that kind of thing. So this is from TNA at Aritzia and they have so many different styles and colors and they are so soft, so like thick and warm. I just threw on this Adidas hat just, I don't know, to accessorize. I feel like hats are super like college-y. And then I'm just wearing my Adidas Ultra Boosts. These are like my favorite athletic running sneakers. And that is the final outfit. Okay, moving on to my third and final topic that I wanted to talk about that you guys had a lot of questions about is how I take notes and how I study for exams. This is another thing where everyone is different. I have like obsessive tendencies when it comes to note taking. I'm very particular about how I like my notes. Even like growing up in like elementary school and middle school, I was never one to like doodle on the side of my notebook. Like I would have to have my notes like pristine and super organized and clean. That's just me. In college, I pretty much take all my notes on my computer as long as my professor's okay with that. I have had several professors that don't allow laptops in class, so in those cases, I'll just buy like a typical notebook. But if I am able to use my laptop, I will basically make a Word document for each class and that'll be like my notes for that class and I have one document for the whole semester. That way when I go back to study for exams, it's not like a new document for every day of notes. I feel like that just gets really messy. It's all just in one Word document and I have all my notes there and it's super easy to like check back to them. My first tip for note taking in college is to first check and see if your professor posts their like slides from the class on like a website or whatever your school uses. Montclair uses Canvas, which is like where your professors post all of your assignments, all the notes, all the quizzes, everything is on Canvas. So most of the time my professors post their slides from each class on Canvas. Depending on how like detailed that professor makes their slides, there's usually a lot of information in the slides. So if your professor does post them, don't waste your time taking notes on like all the little details. If you write down every single thing that the professor is saying, how are you going to refer back to that when it's time to study? You're just going to be looking at like so much information. Really pay attention and only write down what you think is important, what you think is like a main idea or like an important term or concept professors in college move through material really fast and you don't want to be that person that asks them to like go back to a slide because you missed something so don't waste your time writing everything down really just focus on what's important moving on to study tips now that you have your word doc of notes for each class it makes it really easy to go back and study my best friend in college is quizlet it is the best especially for classes that are really like definition based or like 
that have specific like vocab terms or like concepts that have like a clear definition. If you're not familiar, Quizlet is just a website where you can make flashcards, but what's really helpful about it is you can share your sets with someone else. So if you have like a study buddy in one of your classes and you have an exam coming up and there's like a list of vocab words that you need to know, you can split those up and you do half, your friend does half, and then have the document shared with each other and then you can study all the terms but you only spent half the time putting them in. Quizlet is super handy in college. And my other study tip is really hard and I'm not really the best at it, but it is to not wait until the last minute to study. I know it happens, we've all waited until literally like the morning of to study for an exam. I'm making this video now, it's early in the semester so you have no excuse to wait till the last minute. In college you know when all of your exams are super ahead of time. Your first week of classes you're going to be given a syllabus for each class and usually the syllabus has all of the dates for the entire semester of your midterms, your finals, so you know way in advance when your exams are. So even though we all do it, there's really no excuse for procrastinating and waiting till the last minute. If I have a big exam, let's say like a midterm or a final that I really have to study for, I like to look at how many like chapters or sections there are that the exam is covering. Let's say it's on like four different chapters of material. I will usually try to break that up and study for that on four different days. So that way I'm not piling it all on in one day because if you're studying so much information in one day, it's really hard to like retain it all because your brain will just get overwhelmed. So if you space it out and study like one chapter on Monday, one chapter on Tuesday, one chapter Wednesday, one chapter Thursday, your exam's Friday and you're good to go. Break it up, don't wait till the last minute. That's huge and it's a game changer. And I promise you will pass all of your exams. Okay guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you guys have more like questions or topics that you guys want me to talk about, I can always film another video like this or just talk about it in like future vlogs and stuff. If you guys are going into college for the first time this year and are feeling nervous, or if you're in college now and you're feeling stressed and like unsure of what you should be doing, just remember that, like I said, my freshman year going into it, I thought I had it all figured out and that I wanted to go to Ohio State, go to this big school, study interior design. And literally within a few days of getting there, I realized that I had it all wrong and that was not where I wanted to be. And it's honestly taken me until this year, I would say, to like, really figure my shit out and figure out what I want to do with my life. Even if you're a senior and you still don't know what you want to do after college, that's totally okay. Everyone figures things out at their own pace and it's also okay to change your mind. If you're unhappy at the school you're at, or with the major that you're in, it's totally okay to change. Take your time figuring out what you want to do, what you want to study, and just like enjoy college. Don't stress too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.